Doctors couldn't stop screaming when they saw the newborn's face. When he was born in Bangladesh, physicians were taken aback by his appearance in the world. They suspect he had progeria, a disease that affects only one in every four million people worldwide. It causes the bodies of persons who are affected to age far more quickly than they should. The arrival of their miracle child, on the other hand, has left his parents overjoyed. A baby boy who appears to be 80 years old is actually suffering from a rare genetic ailment that causes him to age rapidly. He was born in the Bangladesh city of Magura, and he has wrinkles, hollow eyes, a shrunken torso, and a thick coating of hair on the back of his neck. Doctors in the area were baffled as to what was causing his aging, but they believe he has progeria, which is a form of advanced aging. The illness, which affects one in every four million people, frequently prevents youngsters from leading a normal life and causes their bodies to age more quickly than they would otherwise. The infant does not appear to be a newborn in any way, stated a doctor who has been caring for the child. Excessive wrinkles and rough skin texture are two of the most noticeable signs of aging. However, his parents are overjoyed at the arrival of their miracle child and are unable to keep their joy contained. Father Biswade Patro expressed gratitude by saying, We can only thank God. There's no reason for me to be dissatisfied with my son's physical appearance. We will accept him in his current state. A new baby boy has arrived in our home, and we couldn't be more excited. We've already been blessed with the birth of our daughter. We now have a family of four people. What more could we possibly ask for? Mr. Patro and his wife, Barul, have had a slew of interested visitors to their home in an attempt to catch a sight of their son, who has yet to appear. For the time being, the physicians at the local hospital have informed the family that the baby is in good health. Despite the fact that the majority of children with the illness do not live past the age of 13, his family is optimistic that he will grow up healthy. In the case of progeria, also known as Hutchinson-Gilford progeria syndrome, HGPS, the condition is caused by a single error in a gene, which results in the production of an aberrant protein by the gene. When cells make use of the protein, known as progerin, they are more prone to break down. Progerin accumulates in a large number of cells in children with progeria, leading them to age at a faster rate. As for the treatment of the youngster and his ability to cope with the ailment as he grows older, physicians are unsure what measures may be made. What exactly is progeria? Progeria is a genetic condition that affects only a small number of children and causes them to age fast. Despite the fact that progeria appears to be a healthy condition at birth, Children with the condition begin to show signs of accelerated aging during the first two years of life. The topic of symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment is explored. Human Hutchinson Guilford Progeria Syndrome, or HGPS, is an extremely rare genetic condition that causes children to age at an alarmingly quick rate, progeria. Despite the fact that progeria appears to be a healthy condition at birth, children with the condition begin to show signs of accelerated aging during the first two years of life. The majority of them die by the time they reach the age of 13 or 14. However, others live into their early 20s. The most common cause of mortality is heart disease, which can also be caused by stroke. What is the prevalence of progeria? Progeria affects around 1 in every 20 million persons around the world. It's estimated that there are approximately 350 to 400 children living with progeria around the world at any given moment. According to the Progeria Research Foundation, Progeria appears to afflict boys and girls in equal measure, and it does not appear to be more prevalent in one race than another. What is the cause of progeria? Progeria is caused by a change or mutation in the lamin A LMNA gene, which is found in the sperm. This gene produces a protein that is responsible for holding the nucleus of a cell together. The protein becomes faulty as a result of the change in the gene sequences. This causes the nucleus to become unstable which is thought to be the cause of the premature aging process in humans. The LMNA gene mutation does not appear to be passed down via families. In reality, parents and siblings of children with progeria are rather seldom afflicted by the disease. What exactly are the signs and symptoms of progeria? When a child is diagnosed with progeria, they begin to display signs and symptoms of accelerated aging as early as the first two years of life. These are some examples. Inability to grow at the same rate as their counterparts. Fat loss is achieved by exercise, baldness, skin takes on an old and wrinkled appearance, joints that are stiff. Progeria manifests itself in a variety of ways, including faces that are proportionately small in comparison to the size of their heads, noses that appear to be pinched, a soft region on the back of the skull that is open, teeth that are late to a as the problem progresses, symptoms that are less visible to a parent begin to manifest themselves, such as hip dislocation, cataracts, arthritis, plaque buildup in the arteries, and heart disease, among other things. 
Occasionally, children with progeria experience a stroke. Progeria does not impair intelligence, and children with the condition are often as brilliant as their peers despite their physical difficulties. What is the procedure for diagnosing progeria? Since the discovery of the gene that causes progeria in 2003, researchers have developed a genetic test that can determine whether or not a child's symptoms are caused by progeria. A blood sample from the youngster will be taken for the test to be performed. Physicians could only identify progeria based on their observations and x-rays prior to the development of the test. The Progeria Research Foundation can be contacted if your doctor has reason to believe that your child may be suffering from the disease of progeria. The case will be reviewed by the Foundation's medical director, who may be able to arrange for the test to be performed at no cost to the families involved. Results are usually visible after two to four weeks. The treatment for progeria is as follows. There is currently no cure for progeria. However, various medications are being investigated as potential treatments. This type of physical therapy may aid in the restoration of a child's range of motion, balance, and posture while also alleviating discomfort in the hips and feet. In functional areas such as eating, maintaining personal hygiene, and writing, occupational therapy can assist them in their growth and development. Child progeria can benefit significantly from care that allows them to live as healthy and comfortable a life as they possibly can. This normally consists of the following items. Heart disease monitoring comprises regular testing such as echocardiograms and blood pressure checks to ensure that there is no progression of the condition. Low-dose aspirin therapy and statin medications can both assist to minimize the risk of heart disease in some people. The use of imaging investigations such as magnetic resonance imaging or MRI can be used to monitor for strokes and to check for headaches and seizures, which are common in children with Down syndrome. Regular eye exams. Some children with progeria have visual abnormalities, such as farsightedness or dry eyes, which should be checked on a regular basis because their eyelids may not close completely. Additionally, if the illness progresses, individuals may get cataracts. These youngsters may have thinner brows and eyelashes, which can make it more likely that irritants will get into their eyes as a result of their condition. Additionally, some youngsters have a high sensitivity to light, and it may be necessary for them to wear sunglasses in certain situations. Audiological evaluations. Children who have progeria may suffer from hearing loss that can be alleviated with hearing aids. Progeria children are more prone to have dental problems such as cavities, severe crowding, delayed arrival of teeth, and sunken gums. Regular dental exams are recommended for children with progeria. Keep an eye out for skin problems, which are frequently the earliest indicators of progeria that can include dark spots or bulges on the skin, hair loss, itching, and skin tightness which can make it difficult to move about and breathe or digest food. Keeping an eye on bone health. Children with progeria may experience a variety of difficulties linked to bone growth and development as well as joint problems. Children suffering from progeria require proper nourishment in order to grow. Some people may require additional nutrition, including a feeding tube. Maintaining proper hydration in children with progeria can help lower the chance of developing abrupt neurological issues. Seek advice from your child's doctor on the most effective strategies to encourage your child to consume enough calories and fluids. In the event that their child suffers progeria, what can parents do to assist the family? Parents of children with progeria should make every effort to maintain a normal family life for their children. Make every effort to include the child in as many activities as possible and make certain that other children in the household do not feel left out or neglected. Communicate openly and honestly with your entire family about the reality that your child has progeria and will only live to a certain age, while keeping in mind their age. Counseling sessions may be beneficial at various points in one's life. 